Okay guys, so it's Train Spotter HD and welcome back to another new video. I'm Alexis St. Davids for another train session on this Thursday afternoon. As you can see in front of me, we got a Great Eastern Railway service to Exmouth. There goes a, well there goes, coming in now, which is the Gretchen Railway Service to Plymouth, 800-036. There was another IET on platform 5, should be going to London Fountain. Uh, here is the turbo, and should be working a service to Exmouth. It's the 165116. Now I don't think I've seen this free car 165 down here before, so uh, that's the first time uh, for everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, good to see something a little bit different so uh, yeah we'll obviously see her go out uh, very shortly so uh, we will uh, come back shortly with some trains okay then guys well I'll be back in the video it looks to be that the uh, Great Summer Rally Service to is about to leave I think this is just about on time this uh, turbo here should be leaving within the next few seconds as well as per usual so you're going to start with great Eastern railway trains it's uh, the obvious outcome also Eight hundred zero two seven at the back of the uh, IE two. see that train later on in the video. And the key to camera rollings, I think we may have the Barnsmore service coming in shortly. Um, no. Yeah, it may come in shortly. Oh, there she is. Yeah, she's coming in now. The one five eight seven nine eight. She is uh, looking rather clean, would you believe? <laughs> Let me know. Okay then guys, we're back in the video, uh, we've got a few trains coming in, we have a castle set behind me coming in from Cardiff Central going to Penzance, oh it's nice to see a castle set of course. Here we got a double 150 coming in which will be working a Gretish Railway Service to Paynton, it's 150 263, uh, it should be at the back once it leaves. Is 150-244 at the back. There she is. And there's the, uh, the lovely castle set. 43042 is at the front. We'll uh, catch them at the back. Once it goes out, and very shortly. We should have a South Western Railway service to London Waterloo on back from one. That'll be uh, going out shortly. Uh, the next train you'll see on uh, platform five will be a cross country service to, uh, I think, to Leeds. Although it may be Edinburgh actually. I think it's Edinburgh, if I'm guessing. And that'll be a cross country HST. So, uh, yeah. 
Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll be back shortly. Oh, well, there you go then, guys. As soon as I turn the camera off, we have the uh, Cross Country HST coming in. This should be 43, 321, and I think 43, 378. It's not the 43, 184, unfortunately. That one it was down here today, but I'd probably not down here at this time. 43, 321 at the front. We've got the Southwestern Railway service to Waterloo now going out as well. One five nine zero twelve at the front of the South Western Railway. And there's the forty three three seven eight at the back of the Cross Country HST. And one five nine zero zero nine at the back of the South Western Railway. This one is more or less on time as well. Forty-three zero zero nine at the back, the Nunny Castle. Seen her a few times down here. Uh, well, yeah. Are you okay, we'll be back very shortly. Okay, guys, we're back in the video. About uh, to go out now will be a Gratis Railway service to London Panton eight zero two zero one six. This one's going via Temple Meads. Only five coaches on this one. I think it'd be pretty bad if this didn't leave on time, eh? <laughs> okay, well, you got the 158956 now uh, leaving to go to Exeter Central from Barnsville, looking uh, really filthy from the front. No, not looking too bad at the back though, looking rather clean from the back. Quite strange. Uh, as you can see weather-wise today, it's... Uh, well, I don't know if it was actually meant to rain today, but it is raining slightly today. Uh, here's a cross-country service to Plymouth. I uh, think this could be... Is this from Glasgow Central? I'm not entirely sure. I'm have to get back to you on that one, guys, but yeah. Should see plenty more trains later on. We will see another cross country HST, and the 43184 is still down here. I thought she was going up north, but she is down here, so we'll see her later. We'll see a, a few more castle sets as well, and we will see a freight as well in this uh, video um, coming from St. Basie going to the Exeter Riverside. So happy days, I suppose. So we'll, uh, we'll come back in a few seconds. Okay, coming in now is a Gratis Railway service to Exmouth from Paynton. 150 247. We have the back one to, uh, park to go to Exmouth. The 150 261 will be at the front once it leaves. Okay, we're back in the video and uh, about to go out now will be a cross country service to Perth. Just to clarify, this is, has come from Edinburgh, not Glasgow Central. About near enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, on time as well. It's a five car Vorja. Obviously, it's a 221. Two 
21126. A little bit of damage at the front there. Uh, I don't know if you notice that one, guys. Mm -mm. Not many people on the train either. Pretty surprised at that. Okay, coming in now is a uh, late running terminating Southwestern Railway service from London Waterloo. It's 159101, which will be at the front. And I think it's the 159017 at the back. I did kind of cheat and had a look at that. Like the 101 is uh, had somewhat of a, of a wash because it's not very uh, filthy. Again, not many people on the train at all. Only about two people at the back set, so only about four people at the front of the set. Normally, obviously, but Predominantly, that trains get much more busy on the weekends, of course, because not many people work on weekends. So, uh, yeah. Seven to ten cycle spaces in zone seven. Wheelchair facilities in zone nine. Platform five for the fifteen fifty three Great Western Railway service to Cardiff Central via Bristol Temple Meads. Well, as you just heard. We got a great from railway service to Cardiff Central coming in. And the castle set. It's 43187 at the uh, front of Cardiff Castle. Good to see uh, one of the Welshmen is down here again. And a very noisy. Forty-three one five six at the back. Main the castle. Right. That one is noisy at the back. Okay, guys, we're back in the video, and uh, coming in now is another cross country HST uh, going to Leeds from Perth. Forty-three three oh three at the front. 43184 at the back. There goes the Southwestern Railway Series to London Waterloo, the 017 now leading the way at the 101 at the back. Here is a castle set, terminated in, not terminated in, well it came in from uh, Cardiff Central a couple of minutes ago, it's got a scheduled wait here at St David's for it to leave. I think it be more or less ready to leave now. Definitely having that as my thumbnail. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling so this castle should castle set should lead now. It's 43154 at the front and we'll catch them at the back shortly. Okay, well, I thought this car set was going to leave, but uh.
Here comes the retarded 165116, look working a Bertelsen Railway service to Paynton. But there goes the uh, cost criteria as T anyway, this counter set still hasn't been given the uh, all clear to go for some reason. Unless it's mm, maybe it coming up to the time it should be leaving now, I suppose. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there we go, yeah, okay. So this one is on time actually. I thought it was a bit later than 16.28, but. <laughs> Carried it home, cast up that the 43016. Still can't believe that these lovely trains are leaving our network this year. Sad times, eh? Okie doke, we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, well, we're back in the video, and uh, as you see on platform four, is a cost country service from Glasgow Central going to Plymouth. It's about to leave now. Just had a little break. Uh, charging the phone up. Should see a freight in a minute. Going to the extra river side. It's coming free rather early today. Two twenty zero one zero. So we are more or less coming towards the end of the video. Uh, going to get that freight on camera, like I said. So that that freight's not too far away. And then I'm going to record the eight hundred three two one. Because as you know, the eight hundred three two one used to be the mast uh, livery IET. Uh, but uh, I don't think it is now. I think they took in the uh, livery off the uh, train now for some reason, uh, which is kind of annoying because uh, I actually really loved that livery on the IET. So uh, I'm going to wait and obviously record that. I'm going to see if the livery has been taken off. I think it has, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, yeah. And speaking of the freight, the freight is coming now. Looks like another red DB. I don't know if this will be the 66070 again. <laughs> this is trying a load of 1,000 tons coming through. Oh, I'm trying to think over an hour early. Very clean 66007. Okay, coming in now is a terminating South Western Railway service from London Waterloo. Terminating in a couple of minutes late. And when does this train ever come in on time anyway? 
don't really matter anyway because uh, this train won't go back to Waterloo until 1725 anyway. This is 159006. Uh, uh, this one is all in the uh, newer livery quite a few people people on this train which is uh yeah kind of surprising one five nine zero one eight at the back Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna end the train with the 80321 and that is working a Great Western Railway service from London Plant and going to Paynton. So uh, yeah, we'll come back shortly with the very final train of the video. Okay then guys, we are back in the video and as you can see we do have the 80321. Uh, just arrived here in a minute ago from London Paynton, which we will be going to Paynton. And it looks like the livery has indeed been taken off the train. Now this is the first time I've seen the 800-321 in quite some time, so uh, I wasn't sure if the livery was still on the train or not. But uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, livery has been taken off the train. Now in my view, obviously as you know, some of the IETs did have some amazing liveries on them. This is one of them. Obviously the Christmas livery one, the 802106. I did see that at Tiverton Park a few uh, weeks ago, and that livery has been taken off as well. Now in my view, if you're going to put some liveries on the train, you might as well keep it on the train. There's no point of putting liveries on the train and taking them off. Because, um, you know, in my view, it's a waste of time. Uh, you know, it's, uh, well, it just makes the uh, train look really plain and simple again. So, you know, taking liveries off trains is uh, not great in my view. So we'll end the, uh, uh, video, uh, the video with this train. There we go. Yeah, it just looks plain and simple now, isn't it? We like the orange livery uh, on it. <laughs> shame, really, isn't it? That they take these liveries off these trains. Just, you yeah, know, such a shame, really. But there we go, then, guys. We'll uh, leave it here at Extra St. David's on this Thursday afternoon. Hope you enjoyed the selection of trains you've seen on this video for 150 to 158 to turbos, to IETs, to Borgers, to Cost Country HSTs. We saw two of them today, which was nice. Uh, we saw a freight as well, obviously. That was good. Um, and we saw a few castle sets as well, which is nice. So, yeah, overall, a very nice mixture and good mixture of trains today. So, my next video will be on Saturday. And I'm hoping to make a trip to St. Hostel uh, on Saturday, all being well. So, yeah, I will finally be at a different station. Um, I'm hoping to get there. It's not a guarantee, but I'm hoping to. That's my plan anyway, all being well. So, uh, yeah. So, if you did like what you saw in this video, don't forget to leave a big fat like. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, from uh, me here at Hexer St. David's, I shall see you all soon, guys. Take care.